Disclaimer. All contents, ideas, opinions and information shared or implied herein are for informational and educational purposes only. Hello everybody. Welcome to Sunny the Eggman YouTube channel. In this video, we will be revealing on the fundamental analysis for Keppel DC Writ, its strategic review and recent developments. Before starting, please help to share and subscribe this channel as your support is our biggest motivation to continue on producing quality contents. Keppel DC Writ is the first data center only Writ listed in Asia and SGX since December 2014. Its manager, Keppel DC Writ Management Private Limited, is 50% owned by Keppel Capital Holdings Private Limited, Keppel Capital, and 50% owned by Keppel T&T. Keppel Capital is a reputable asset manager in Asia with diversified in real estate, infrastructure, data centers and others. The portfolio for Keppel DC RIT includes 19 data centers in 8 countries across Asia Pacific and Europe which comprised approximately 2.08 million square feet lettable area as at 31 December 2020. Particularly, Keppel DC RIT is having 6 data centers in Singapore, 3 data centers in Australia, 1 data center in Malaysia and Italy respectively and 2 data centers in Germany, Ireland, the Netherlands and United Kingdom respectively. One more data center in Australia named IntelliCenter 3 East Data Center is expected to be completed in first half of 2021. Its market capitalization is approximately 4 billion Singapore dollars currently. Firstly, we will be looking at Keppel DC RIT financial statements for fundamental analysis. In the past four years, the revenue for Keppel DC is increasing steadily with a huge jump of 36% from 194.8 million Singapore dollars in 2019 to 265.6 million Singapore dollars in 2020. Also, it is clearly shown that the net property income is improving from 177.3 million Singapore dollars in 2019 to 244.2 million Singapore dollars in 2020. The increase of 38% in net property income indicates that data centers are not affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, the demand on data centers are rising during COVID-19 pandemic, whereby more people are working from home and the usage of internet on entertainment, education and groceries are higher. Next, it can be seen that the net distribution income are growing in the past four years and this translates to higher distribution per unit. In 2020, the distribution per unit is amounted to 9.17 cents, which is 20.5% increase from 7.61 cents in 2019. In term of NAV, it is also slightly improved from 1 Singapore dollar and 14 cents in 2019 to 1 Singapore dollar and 19 cents in 2020. As at the 31st of December 2020, the investment properties is amounted to 3 billion Singapore dollars as compared to 2.6 billion Singapore dollars in 2019. This is mainly due to completed acquisition of the remaining 999-year leasehold land interest at Keppel DC Dublin 1 in Ireland and Kelsterbach data center in Germany, as well as new acquisition of Amsterdam data center in Netherlands. However, it can be seen that Keppel DC RIT has an increased borrowings in 2020, 33.9% increase as compared to 2019, mainly due to funding for new acquisitions in 2020. As such, the net debt to equity is increased from 0 0.408 in 2019 to 0 0.485 in 2020. Nonetheless, it is still considered lower as compared to Sabana RIT at 0 0.663, Fraser Logistic and Commercial Trust at 0 0.65 and Maple Industrial Trust at 0 0.567. Now we will be revealing on the strategic review on this RIT stock. The stock price is trading at 2 Singapore dollars and 59 cents as of the 27th of July 2021, which is dropped by approximately 10% as compared to one year ago. The stock is still trading above its NAV by 1.2 times. Nonetheless, if we look into the stock price trend in five years' time, Keppel DC shows a significant improvement from 1 Singapore dollar and 17 cents in August 2016 to 2 Singapore dollars and 59 cents in July 2021, which is a jump of 122% in five-year times. 
the huge jump is mainly due to Keppel DC RIT effort in strengthening data centers portfolio through new acquisition across Europe and Asia Pacific. To add on, COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 did accelerate the world's digitalization trends as many people are forced to work from home and e-commerce becomes norm as human interactions and movement are restricted in most countries. Also, a surge in data and computing capacity is clearly seen due to adoption of new technology such as Internet of Things, 5G connection, big data and artificial intelligence. As a result, the stock price for Keppel DC RIT reached its recent peak in August 2020, hitting 3 Singapore dollars and 6 cents, highest trading price in the past five years. On the other hand, this RIT stock is showing a declining sign for the past six months. While the decrease in stock price might be due to many unforeseen conditions, we will be focusing on the following points based on our analysis. First of all, there is official announcement of the new CEO, Ms. Anthea Lee, taking effect from 15 February 2021. This is due to the leadership changes at few key business units of Keppel Corporation. The leadership style of the new management can only be seen over a period of time. This might be part of the considerations from the investors. Next, despite new acquisition and asset enhancement initiatives, the growth in revenue, net property income and distribution per unit are in declining trend, if compared between Q1 2021 and Q1 2020 versus Q1 2020 and Q1 2019. Also, the NAV for Q1 2021 is showing a slight decrease from 1 Singapore dollar and 19 cents in the 31st of December 2020 to 1 Singapore dollar and 18 cents in the 31st of March 2021. In April 2021, the manager of Keppel DC RIT announced that they will be expanding their investment mandate into real estate and assets in the digital connectivity sector. This indicates that the portfolio for Keppel DC RIT will diversify other than pure data centers. To add on, a non-binding term sheet with intention to enter definitive agreements with respect to proposed investments by Keppel DC RIT into a special purpose vehicle, were signed between Keppel DC RIT and M1 Limited. In the proposed investment, Keppel DC RIT plans to invest approximately 87 million Singapore dollars into the SPV owned by M1 Limited. In return, Keppel DC RIT is expected to earn an annual fixed return of 11 million Singapore dollars per year over 15 years ad will not have any residual value over 15 years. However, this non-binding agreement is still in early stages and further comments can only be made after it is finalized. Based on all the above points, investors' confidence level are reflected in the stock price over past few months. Lastly, let's look at Keppel DC RIT unaudited results for first half ended 30 June 2021. Based on the announcement, distribution per unit is increased by 12.5% from 4.375 cents in first half 2020 to 4.924 cents in first half 2021. For revenue, it shows an increase of 9% from 123.9 million Singapore dollars to 135 million Singapore dollars in first half of 2021. Nonetheless, Keppel DC RIT is still experiencing a declining growth when comparing between first half 2021 and first half 2020 versus first half 2020 and first half 2019. The NAV has shown an increase from 1 Singapore dollar and 19 cents in the 31st of December 2020 to 1 Singapore dollar and 21 cents in the 30th of June 2021. In July, Keppel DC RIT also announced their acquisition on Guangdong Data Center in Zhongmen, China which will strengthen their distribution to unit holders. In conclusion, some good points to consider for Keppel DC RIT is their relatively consistent financial result in term of revenue, net property income and distribution per unit, high portfolio occupancy, long portfolio WALE and strong leasing momentum. However, there are also some risks to consider like concentration risk, new investment venture in real estate and network assets, new leadership team and potential stagnation of data centers in Singapore. Hope you can have some valuable insights on Keppel DC RIT after watching this video. Do comment and share with us your thoughts on the above points. Stay tuned and remember to share, like and subscribe our channel. 
I'm Sunny the Eggman. Goodbye.